where does that leave? I, I don't know. I guess she'll just keep plugging away. I mean, this girl has shown so much heart, so much determination, but the, the frustration and the anger, Phil, it briefly even learned her, led her to team, turn, learn, led her to turn dead for a little while there. I mean, she was so frustrated with the fans, she wanted nothing to do with any of them. Well, you know, rumor has it back then she was jealous of Deanna because of all the fame that Deanna was doing, but Deanna Prazo was doing it all on her own. Her and Karen Q trained, so it was more like a teacher versus student matchup. Just Karen could not just get over that hump. She, she wanted to be the Deanna Perrazzo here. A couple months back, we even saw her, I believe, I forget who she defeated, but she did all of Deanna Perrazzo's mannerisms and yes. moves. Yes, yeah, that was last year at the tournament. Uh, by the way, uh, by the by, as far as Karen Q is concerned, uh, Deanna Perrazzo surrendered her title back in June after successfully defeating Karen, Karen Q in a Q. match at Raising the Bar. Yeah. You know who else went away in June, Phil? Besides Deanna Perrazzo. Karen Q went away. Yeah, Karen, the Karen She Q. rededicated herself to training. That's right. She was also featured at Ring of Honor last night in South Philadelphia. And she looked incredible there as well. The momentum for Karen Q feels good. totally shifted, Phil. I mean, this girl... Potentially, she could have the world at her fingertips. I remember when Karen Q first debuted here in ECWA, and she was just a young, up-and-coming woman wrestler, and now she's almost got the full package going. Beautiful Eric Conrana against Christina Marie. Karen Q is firing up right now. Karen's going to charge in the corner. Avalanche splash. Christina Marie, the uh, like I said, the trainee of Shockwave, the, the robot. In the corner, oh! Drops her over that top turnbuckle, face first. Christina Marie standing over Karen Q, kind of jaw jacking with her. You know, we're definitely going to see a lot of hair pulling throughout this tournament. I would think so, there's a lot of hair. Christina Marie going for it practically has Karen Q choking herself. Which technically isn't a choke hold, by the way. Cover two. Christina Marie is totally, totally impressing me here tonight, Phil, with her aggressiveness. Uh, this is a young girl with a- Oh, you heard that shot all the way over here to the back of Karen Q. Oh, you know what, Christina's got her stuff together, man. I mean, she, uh, she knows exactly what she's doing in there, and she's hoping to catch a couple girls off guard tonight. It didn't even occur to her that she might not win this tournament. That's how focused she is right now. Well, like we said, anything can happen here in this tournament. We already saw Deanna Perrazzo go over in the first in the opening match, and Skylar Marie. Skylar Marie. This is a. Uh, Christina Marie. This is Christina. Yes. Skylar. Skylar Marie has red hair as well, though, so it's an yeah, easy mistake. So they should be a tag team. They could. Yeah. The Maries. Right now, Christina Marie rolling up Karen Q there for a two count. I believe we have one more women's match after this. Yes, we do. And I guess by proxy, we kind of, by default, we know that the final matchup will feature, will feature Samantha Heights and Santana Garrett. So that'll be interesting yeah, for sure. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Uh, Christina Marie. Parading around the ring and drops Karen Q down with a huge body slam. Middle of the ring, cover one and two. How about Jason Skinner getting his face in the history books here? I'll tell you what, ECWA, a student of the ECWA Pro Wrestling Academy here. Getting in here. I know he was nervous. I'm gonna have to have a talk with the boss about him though. Uh, but Why, is he, he hanging out with cheese too much? <laughs> but he's been trying to learn the ropes, you know. He couldn't make it as a wrestler, so he's trying to be a, a referee here. But I think he's going to you for advice. <laughs> he needs to. If he did, he'd probably be listening. Marie boot and cover again, only two. Christina Marie absolutely impressing me. The agility that she's showing and Karen Q. Something seems off, Phil. I, I'll be, maybe it's ring rust. You know? maybe, I mean, she hasn't been in the Woodbury Heights Community Center well, in a while. Well, I did mention she wrestled last night in South Philadelphia for Ring of Honor. Sure. Uh, 
I'm just, you know, it's not usual that she's down and out like this. It could be tired. It could be a lack of, you know, knowing, knowing that this tournament was happening today. A lot of these girls are nervous. The nerves are going, man. They're flowing. Well, that's another thing to consider. Karen Q did make the finals last year. She knows what it takes to have to win two matches yeah. and what so, it takes, honestly, to win a third. Maybe she, she's pacing herself. She also has a lot to live up to being in the finals last year. She yes, she to, does. She wants to do it again this year. There's only one thing she can do that won't be a disappointment this year. Oh, huge suplex by Karen Q. Cover. Q with the two. Fireman's carry, Karen Cuscott, Christina Marie, back elbows, fire, forcing her way out, kick to the midsection there. She's gonna do a fireman's carry of her own. What does she have planned, Phil? Ooh, wow, that was a huge fireman's carry there. Drops a big FU on everybody, I John guess. John Cena doing a... Yeah, Ooh! Standing moonsault, but uh, Karen Q did get the knees up. That's the experience. Face plants her down. Karen Q, I feel like this is it, Phil. One, two, three. It's over. Christina Marie is out cold. She is out cold. Seven minutes, 31 seconds. New winner is Karen 